Today you will not only see me coding, but also thinking, because problem is LRU cache, and I heard about this problem, and I never had time to really go for it. So this time I'm aware of a problem, but I don't know a solution. So that's something quite unique. Let's start a problem timer. Uh, it should support the following operations get and put get get the value of the key if the key exists in the cache otherwise return minus one put set or insert the value if the key is not already present when the cache reached its capacity it should invalidate the least recently used item before inserting a new item o of one time complexity there is something with capacity key but key can be whatever or from zero to capacity can be whatever i will do some drawings while thinking about the solution just first let me understand the problem for sure we say that for one the value is one that's a very bad example it shows nothing uh, for one it's one for two it's two uh, evict key two least recently used item it's one and two one was a moment ago used two was not so when i insert three it removes two got it i think i mean i got the statement not the solution Let's say I put there A, B, and C. And let me remove these bars around the around the drawing. Then what happens? And let's say the capacity is free. What happens if now I try to access B? So B is most recently accessed. I think next to every thing I will write down time of last access. Let's say this was accessed at time four time two, time one, whatever. Now I try to insert a new item, D, then it will remove this thing. Now it will be here, D, with time of access, I guess five. I don't know if putting an element also counts as accessing. I would think so. Then let's say we read the value of B, then it will update four into some new value next six now let's say we i want to insert a new thing it will replace this one it will be here let's say e with access time of seven what can i do there is some capacity it would be nice if i went cyclically through this I put element A, then B, then C, then D, then replace this one with E, replace this one, replace this one, and so on. But how am I supposed to even say what's there for some particular key? Don't I need... Don't I need something like BST? Well, a hash map. Can I use an already existing hash map? I will assume so. But as I said, don't treat this video as a tutorial or lecture. It's rather me thinking about the problem from scratch. This is really what I would do during a coding interview. If I was given a problem, I don't know a solution for. Okay, I'm assuming I have a hash map. Then the remaining difficulty is to get that last used item. I mean, first used item. Uh, 
Then what about this? I will have a queue of things. Let's say I, there is a queue with a comma b comma c. This means a was used a long time ago. B was used after that. Sorry, control Z doesn't work. Okay. Uh, then B was used, then C. Now, if I'm using B, I will add it here and I need to in some way remove it. I don't need to explicitly remove it from this place. I can just remember the real last position or like count of occurrences. Then I will go through this queue. This queue remembers when last time I used every item, but only the last occurrence of something counts. If now A appears, I, for example, access element A, not for example, I access element A, then uh, removing an item shouldn't remove this thing. Instead, it should go through items, and for each of them, it should look, hey, are you the last occurrence of A? You are not, so just let's continue. B, are you the last occurrence of B? No, you are not. C, are you the last occurrence of C? Yes, you are. So while I remove this from a queue, I will also say C is really removed from my structure forever. And it's replaced with something new. Although here A, B, C, D, E, they, they mean keys in the problem statement. Is there anything wrong about this? My idea is for this there is a queue. There is also a hash map for remembering forever key, key what's the value. Just queue is there to know what I should replace. Uh, in queue, when I take the first element, I need to know if it is the last occurrence of this element. So I need another, I think, hash map for either the number of times an element occurs in this queue or the like last moment, real last moment. Let's say this is count. So this hash map, it will count occurrences in a queue. If I take the first element, if it's one, then it means really I should remove this. I think that's enough for the idea and the design of this. Now the coding and capacity. Do I use capacity? Well, it will be just a variable to remember. Map. I need standard map for value. Let's call it key value, or it can be just value. Given key, I want to know a value. Then there is queue uh, accessed. It's queue of when every element is accessed, kind of. And also another unordered map from int to int. Map count occurrences in queue. Cool, cool. Maybe also existing elements. I ne will need to use capacity in some way. But what happens when I get a key? If I need to just find it in value and append to the queue, right? So accessed push key, uh, count in queue, plus plus, because like maybe a moment ago Q was A, B, C, and now I'm accessing B, so B goes to the end of this sequence. But very first should be to check if it exists at all. Value will keep only existing elements. Here, I can do something like that. I, iterator will find value.find of key. If this is value.end, it means this element doesn't exist. Return minus one and don't do anything more. Otherwise, I will need to return value of key or 
slightly better way to write it, more efficient, not to again look for this key in a hash map, is to just return second value pointed by this iterator, because it points to a pair key and a value. This will give you a value, but this would be the same, just slightly slower for running time. Put, this is much harder, harder if value.size is smaller than capacity. And when you compare in C++ an order to if uh, unsigned with signed int, you should cast. Though it isn't that important. Capacity. This is just a variable, right? Let's say this is given capacity. As it's constructor, I could do something here, but it will be easier for you to understand, I think. If I say this, I'm just setting this value to something. If it fits, then just add it. Value of key, uh, value of key is value. Uh, this is that global map. Accessed, I believe, also should get this uh, occurrence of this number. Push key. Count in Q of key plus plus. If I if this appears in like one more place, then I guess I should make a function. But for now, it isn't that important. Like if something is very simple and just occurs in two places, you don't really need to write extra function and extra five lines to make it into a function. Otherwise, it's a harder thing. Do I need to do anything more? Capacity? I could name this like remaining capacity and then just compare with zero, but I find this version better. Otherwise, I need to replace some old value. Is it possible that this will be something already existing? Set or insert the value if the key is not already present. Okay. If it might exist in value. Uh, not to get like big nesting of if if conditions. Let's say here return. Now try to find key. If it exists, this key exists. I just need to overwrite it. Value. Uh, can I do this? I think so. Uh, is value or alternative version would be just value of key is value. <laughs> nothing special but I believe this also works and again it's faster because you already know its position in hash map so just change this single value and accessed okay I'm doing this for the next time so let's make a function it should be private uh, so all, all of that is private Add to Q. Accessed push key. Count in occurrences in Q. Plus plus. It replaces that. And it happened again right here. Is that now everything? Yes, it should be so returned. And the last remaining case is I need to find some old thing to replace. While true, take the first element. So like candidate, let's call it candidate. Accessed, what is it called, front? And accessed, pop front, I will later check in C++ reference if I'm having some, mm, some uh, function wrong. I always forget the names. Uh, maybe it is just pop, accessed pop front. And now this candidate. If decrease this by one, count in Q, candidate, minus minus. If this is zero, 
I could say if this is now equal to zero, there's a better way in C++, first decrease by one and then compare with zero. It means it was the only occurrence, so this means to really remove something uh, from value, value erase. How do I call it? Maybe just value.find of candidate. I'm not sure about this line, if, if it will compile or not. It should compile. But can I just write this? I don't know if this will compile. Value erase that. And do I do anything more? And break from the while loop. Otherwise, keep doing that. So while this exists somewhere next in queue, so it was also... The fact that at the beginning of queue, in terms of values, let's say there are 10, 15, 10, 17, 20. If I'm looking at this 10, I want to remove it, but hey, wait a moment. It was accessed also later, some, some, um, some time after that. It was again accessed because it was inserted here in queue. Remember, queue goes from left to right here. So I'm just removing this from queue and continue. 15? Yeah, 15 is the only thing here. So it should be really removed like that. And this is replaced element. Value erase that. And after this is done, value of key is value. This is a hash map. This is given key, given value. And add to queue. This happened in every case, so maybe it should be some big if else, and then at the end just do this once. Let's resolve compilation errors, if there are any. I this given value, let's call it v, because I named this unfortunately the same thing I shouldn't have done that pop front I guess maybe pop I will after I get accepted anyway check no what does do mean seems correct uh, I will check in editorial if this is intended. Yay, 17 minutes and 30 seconds. Including coding and some explanation out loud, but this is what needs to be done during an interview. I think I, think I explained what it does. But now I want to know, maybe in this case, is it the same thing that other people did? Uh, list, what happens with this list? Hash of key. Oh, in list we can erase wherever. I guess that is the LRU thing. I see here using some trick to be able to erase from the middle of a queue, or rather a list. If a list like, remembers next thing and previous item in a list, if you know iterator where it exists, you can erase it. You don't have repetitions there. And I understand an issue with my solution. Uh, it would be nice to say that my solution is of capacity. Right now it isn't, because if you get multiple times, if you write get of five, get of five, get of five, each thing like that, it will give me another thing in my queue. It will put another object in my queue. That's bad. Actually, my complexity, uh, space complex, I'm talking about space complexity. My space complexity can be just of number of events or queries. And I don't think that's good. Instead, I should be able to erase from the middle of a queue. Mm. Some other detail is if the count of something becomes zero, I should erase it from count in queue uh, as well. 
so that's a first fix should improve the size of this to be up at most capacity let's see if it would also work but in a moment i will switch everything to a list now this is of size capacity this is of size capacity but this can be bigger list uh, of what of maybe int itself would be enough should i run a timer again i guess what's the point if i already kind of looked up the the solution then i'm trying to mimic it understand it yeah, uh, let's take a look at the drawing some kind of drawing if i remove those things yeah, the idea now is maybe like that if i have abc and now a new b appears i went for approach of kind of lazily getting rid of items it's sometimes used in different algorithms maybe in something like bfs or dijkstra it might happen that you will do that and just when you really get to an element you will try to check in some way if it is the real occurrence of this element here the last occurrence but the idea to get really out of capacity space is to at this moment r remove this completely and i'm trying to achieve this right now uh, list add to queue this will be now accessed push key i don't have a count maybe something more will happen uh, yeah, th this doesn't change get and get here it should replace that last access time i need to do something more over here and when i get something maybe this should be a pair of int and list iterator c++ reference list erase iterate complexity linear in the number of elements erased yeah i can erase this in constant time I'm not sure if this is a place where I should store this, but now if you ask me about key 5, not only I know a value, but also where it is in the list, so I could easily remove it. Value, add to key. Now, this is uh, a pair and I need the, its first element to return it, but the second element, it will be accessed erase remember this is a pair stored in a map a pair of int iterator so its second element is an iterator of list this this thing should be it put if just do this then value is a pair v comma add to q and here iterator to the last element of a list I say add to Q maybe add to Q will return me that iterator find key this is not that this key exists I want to overwrite it mm yes i want to overwrite it maybe i need a function because this will repeat void just erase thing when i use get or when i use this then almost the same thing happens i erase the already existing occurrence let's say that this is replace And there's, there will be some new value, maybe? Uh, 
our value is positive. Just uh, omit that. Otherwise, return minus one. I believe not. Let's say that if this value is minus one, it means that it's just a get. I shouldn't replace. And here, add to queue. Access to erase the previous thing. And also insert. Kind of push something to the end. This removes that previous occurrence and this should create the last one at the end. Here, replace key and just let's say minus one. Minus, minus one denotes I'm not really inserting a new thing. If value is not minus one, uh, value v, the value of key, it is some pair. Value of key, it is some pair. It is a pair of v, comma, iterator. But I need to find it. Okay. If I have a get, then I run this and saying, don't replace this. I need to handle that in the future. This is to do for me. If put smaller capacity, then I'm not replacing. I'm just pushing. Oh, I'm doing push here. Add to queue. What add to queue does? Access push. This became a mess. 27 minutes already. That will be the longest video yet. Value size smaller than capacity. Oh, okay, what can happen? I can erase and I always put it to the end. Is that true? Yes. Let's do those two parts separately. If value size is equal capacity, if the full capacity is reached. And uh, and what else? And this doesn't exist. Value dot find of v is equal value dot end. Only then I erase. Then if this is true I erased, so I can just say that I overwrite. I mean, I don't need to now distinguish be between putting a new thing and just replacing. So value of key is equal to pair v comma iterator to the end. But just before that, I need to say something like access push v. And that will be it. Remove everything else. In get, if this then minus one, otherwise it will be erase and this. Something very, very similar. So let's call this push. Something is added at the end. Then here we have push, uh, not erase, and push. Mm. Okay, let's have those two functions. Replace shouldn't be here, it should be above. Push of key and value. Erase of just a key? Yeah, I think so. I think that here it must be in value. So I will put an assert. It will break in case it doesn't exist in a map. And erasing is about this. Accessed, erase. IT second is a pair. IT second second is iterator to a list. Done, and why won't I just say value 
erase of it completely erasing this from that maybe after a moment i will push it again push assume that it's just pushing it doesn't exist right now accessed push key and the value of key is a pair v comma iterator to the end end of list i need to check how to access it maybe push uh, list has pushed back what i'm interested in pushback does pushback give me a return value no it doesn't is there something like end i will get end and min do minus minus this is previous of so it does minus minus of accessed dot end remove that count in q mm. okay erase of key and push of key and standard value i'm not going to replace so how to say that i should remember the value int old value is just it second this is again a pair first element is a value and return that old value you cannot anymore use iterator because when you erase iterator got obfuscated or removed in this case erase of key key comma v i don't have that much code at the end missing bracket this except that is from previous solution compilation error it second dot second this is a pair not an iterator so i need to access it with a dot this code is slightly less efficient in like running time uh, for running time because I keep searching in hash map instead of reusing iterator. I did it for convenience and pre hmm. beautifulness of code. Access to push key. It should be push back. Access push back. Did you mean pref? Yes, I think I meant, meant this this should give me last element of a list and assertion failed i'm trying to erase something that doesn't exist when do i run erase when do i run erase yeah here when i get and when i put if it's capacity and it is in a map and then erase wait a moment something is wrong when do i erase just something like when do i care about capacity when i put this is when i erase this but also and erase sometimes should erase from a map. Does it do it? I erase it. Yes, it does. Now if value dot size is equal capacity just before I put. So this erase didn't help to get com capacity down to capacity minus one. I mean size to capacity minus one. Then. 
what did I do? I erase first element from a list. Assert not accessed dot empty, just to make sure I can access the very first thing. And run erase of erase should get key dot front. Then unnecessarily here I'm searching for things. No, I'm not doing anything unnecessary. Run code. Seems all right. Submit. And 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 and. Again, assertion failed. It would be nice to investigate. Can I click this? It would be nice to investigate, and I will hide the timer. For what test, and then which function was run just a moment ago? I can return, erase that. Uh, Again, I will look when erase is run, just before which moments, just after which moments. This is one possibility. If this value exists, oh, I'm stupid. I'm looking for key, not V. It worked for sample test because it was so weak. Like for one, it was one, for two, it was two. This time, maybe? Not really. Value. Hmm. Value of key is this. The same assertion file. But notice that assertion only help, helps me. Otherwise, I would have here some random error because I'm trying to erase something not existing. It's better to know exactly, oh, in this line, this happened. Again, when I erase, when I try to do erase here. If it's value and uh, then return minus one, otherwise it must exist. This is fine. Now, if value find of key is different than this, erase. Cool. And finally, if I need to remove the first element, I try to remove first element in the list. Apparently, it doesn't exist in map value. That might mean that, well, that must mean I'm doing something wrong at some moment with my list. When I erase, I erase this pointer I remember. Uh, what else do I do? Access pushback key. Value of key is this. I hope this works, right? Pushback and okay. it should give me the last element of a list. What else do I do with accessed? When do I pop anything? Well, I erase. Should be fine. I might look now for like five minutes at this code and then cut it, cut it out because nothing interesting is happening right now. Let's do this. When I erase, can I iterate over a list like this? Input is this. A custom test case. Now run code, please. I should at least see my list if there is something suspicious. Yes, there is something suspicious. 
elements exist multiple times. At some moment I'm forgetting, maybe I'm removing something and not removing from a list. I have this, accessed erased. This happens every time in erase, just once. But first line printed already had that. Before first erase, a number was twice in the array, in the list. How is it possible? Push. Maybe I run push without erasing that same thing. Oh, I mm, I simplified the, this main part and forget about one possibility. If it's smaller than capacity, I still need to erase, just to put a new thing. I hope you agree. If I already know that for key 10, there is some value of 1000, and now for 10 I have value of 500, I want to erase that previous occurrence. Seems better now, I will remove the printing because it might give me time limit exceeded. Printing doesn't affect the correctness, but it takes time. It's especially important in competitive programming. And finally accepted. Took me, when I look at OBS, the recording time, 42 minutes. I will now check if this is roughly the same. I see a list of pairs. Uh, okay, so list contains pairs key value, but hash map for every int it remembers iterator. It's, it's equivalent in some way. There's also capacity. Uh, get. I think it is the same, it is equivalent. That was a fun and unique experience because I knew this problem is quite hard and I really never done it. I never went through all the steps. And it's also interesting that my first idea, only after when I looked at the editorial or just the discuss forum, I saw that, hey, I have worse space complexity. I thought I'm doing everything linear, so it's fine. But the idea, maybe not explicitly written in the statement, is that you should have space complexity O of capacity. But I didn't have that. All my operations were O of 1, or maybe amortized O of 1, weren't they? If something was... Yeah, if I had a lot of numbers in, at the beginning of my queue, all of them equal to each other, then single access could take time to remove all of them. Uh, my, complex, my time complexity was amortized O of 1, because every new thing later will be removed once. So one event can then trigger one more erase in the future. This means it's amortized constant, but not true constant. Do we have anything more here? It is interesting. This code will be in the GitHub repository. Maybe later I will revisit this problem, read some other solutions, make sure I understand everything correctly. And then I will make really a video tutorial on this instead of this uh, video of how I approach it from scratch. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, tell me in the comments if, my miss if I missed something, if I did something wrong and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.